right, guys, today I want to do a video talking about brands, USA brands or knife brands to check out before you buy a Chinese knife. Now, the reason why I want to do this video is myself included, but quite a few knife tubers have been talking about how, you know, the Chinese knife market is absolutely crushing the American knife market, especially when it comes to companies like Benchmade. And I, instead of just being one of those people that talks about problems, I wanted to offer <laughs> I wanted to offer solutions before just sitting out there and saying, oh, these are all the things that are wrong with the world. Why don't I try to offer some solutions? So today I thought I would talk about some knife companies that uh, make blades in the U.S. that are still reasonably affordable. Now I will say inflation has affected everything and sometimes you find some really good deals and prices that are unbeatable, but by and large, you know, it's... The knife world isn't as cheap as it used to be. I'll put it that way. So anyways, I'm gonna talk about some brands and let's jump into it. <clears throat> All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about the brands I have on the table and we're gonna start off with ZT, but actually we're gonna talk about Kershaw because I don't actually have an American made Kershaw. I do have the uh, Emerson Kershaw collab, but that one is made in China. So I figured I'd pull out my ZT0562 because this is a USA made blade. But I did want to use this blade as a point to say that there are actually quite a few offerings from Kershaw, and I've even talked about other ones like the Live Wire um, on this channel that are USA-made blades that are reasonably budget. Now, the Live Wire is an OTF, so it is definitely not as budget. However, things like the um, a lot of the launch series of blades, such as their like autos, like their push button autos, are actually really affordable. Some of them are under $100, some are just over $100, and they usually, I think all of them use CPM 154 for the blade steel, so you're getting a pretty good blade steel overall. And uh, yeah, the Launch Series is a really good example, but if you look through their list, once again, you do have to watch out. Kershaw does have Chinese-made blades, like their Leek, um, and they're different ones. I'm trying to remember some of the other Ken Onion designs, but those ones, of course, the Kershaw collab, as I mentioned before, um, or not Kershaw, <laughs> Emerson collab, as I mentioned before, is also Chinese made. So you do have to watch out, but there are a lot of USA made blades by both ZT and of course, Kershaw. So they are definitely worth checking out. And there are quite a few that are under a hundred dollars and sometimes even cheaper. I know their Skylines back in the day used to be unbeatably well-priced knives that were made in the US. So anyways, let's talk about Hogue. Hogue is another one that once again, I don't think you're gonna find any for directly under a hundred dollars, but right around that hundred dollar mark, you can find some really awesome USA made blades from Hogue. And I feel like Hogue is a company I've definitely talked about quite a bit on the channel because I feel like they are incredibly slept on and a lot of people, you know, they, they don't look at the, uh, they don't look at this company, even though they are making knives in America and they're good designs, good like locks, good mechanisms, everything on these guys is just as good as something like Benchmade or really any of these other knives we're talking about on the list. So honestly, I think um, Hogue is definitely really worth checking out if you are looking for something that is a little bit more affordable, a little bit more attainable. And one thing I'll kind of throw in as a side note, because I get this question a lot, especially from people who are newer to the EDC knife scene, is that, you know, a lot of people ask me for recommendations of like, oh, you know, what's a handful of budget blades that I can get reasonably easy? And I try to tell people, you know, get maybe one or two like genuine like sub $50 knives um, or maybe like around $50. And then honestly, just save your money and start going for higher end knives, even not necessarily like, you know, true high end knives, but, you know, knives that are going to be around, you know, one to two to even $300. And the reason why is I think like the end satisfaction of knives that are in this price range tend to be the best. I mean, that $100 to $300 range tends to be where you see genuinely the most value in knives. You know, you're going to see super premium materials usually in your knife and in your handle you're going to see really nice actions really refined blades that are still you know machine made but machine made at a higher quality so usually that's kind of what i recommend but anyways mini rant aside uh, the next one up is spider coat now of course similar to kershaw uh, spider coat does make a number of knives in china and in taiwan but they do 
also make a number of knives in America. And the Para series is probably gonna be the most affordable, like the Para 3s, the paramilitary 2s, the more like plain Jane versions of them are going to be your most affordable. But also um, what I would say is really keep an eye out on the seconds sales the Spider Co does, and even people selling seconds, whether that be on eBay or on other um, platforms. But yeah, so like I was saying, the second sales are a really good way to actually score some solid like shamans, manix twos, um, once again, paramilitary twos, para threes, uh, the whole lineup of American made um, spider coes for really decent prices. Once again, you're probably still gonna be playing, you're still probably gonna be paying over, you know, like a hundred bucks for some of the higher end, especially, you know, the more fancy steel options like, you know, Rex 45 or S10V or something, but you can honestly get really good American made knives and the seconds usually only have cosmetic flaws to them. Okay, last one up and I don't have any knives here uh, at the moment to represent the brand. I do have one survival fixed blade from them, but that would be Buck Knives. Now, generally speaking, I'm not the largest fan of Buck Knives because most of their designs, so I don't usually love Buck Knives because of their, you know, kind of older designs. They make a lot of lockbacks, but in fairness, they do have some newer designs and pretty much everything they make is made in the US and they're not half bad so once again not my favorite and that's why i don't have any examples here but they are worth checking out once again they're things like the 110 the 110 lightweights the 112 lightweights and i might actually end up picking up a 112 lightweight um they do use they do use decent materials they are still a lock back but once again still pretty usable for EDC. So anyways, guys, hopefully this gives you guys an idea and hopefully this gives you some solutions if you're in the market looking for some more, you know, budget-ish knives that are made in the US. And once again, this is a legitimate way to support some companies that are bringing home or keeping manufacturing here in the US. So anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And like I said, moreover, I wanted to create this video as a form of a solution, as opposed to just sitting there and railing and berating, you know, knife companies, because as much as I can speak hatred against Benchmade, and as much as I dislike Benchmade's knives, you know, I'm here to talk about solutions and not problems solely. So anyways, guys, that's what I was here to do, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless. And I'm